So let's look at that issue. How do I know that I've accessed the causal? You're right, if it happens over and over again, then I haven't accessed the causal. However, that doesn't mean that I haven't accessed certain aspects of the causal in each event. See, a lot of times what we often do is we think, oh, if it's happened again, then I mustn't have dealt with it at all. But what I've noticed in my own processing is that I will deal with one issue about the causal, but be too afraid to deal with another issue about the causal. So let's say the causal event may be something that happened in a child of life. I'll give you an example for myself a couple of days ago, what I was dealing with was um, I, I realised, I had this realisation at the soul level that I didn't want to be loved. I was thinking before then that I did want to be loved and nobody could love me. But then I had this realisation, the fact that nobody loved me meant that I didn't want to be loved. And then I had to allow myself to just ponder about that, pray about that for a bit. And then after I did that, I realised there was a series of five or six events that came to me from what would be the equivalent of my childhood for you, but it's my first century experience, of events where, where somebody loved me and they died as a result of loving me. And then I had lots of memories about the millions of people who have been tortured to death because they loved me. And, and all of these different feelings of responsibility about that. And then I had some feelings about you know, what happened to Mary and her life because she loved me. And, and went through lots of different emotions there about that as well. And what I realised was that there was this one aspect of wanting to be loved that I, I was dealing with before then. Then I realised that I didn't want to be loved. And then there were so many facets to that. Like, there were just so many, like, and still are. I've got some more coming up now still about it. And so far I've dealt with nearly 15 or 16 of the different facets of not why I don't want to be loved. But I can still feel there's some more there in me, just, just some events and memories that occur. So, so my law of attraction is not going to change. I'm not going to get loved completely, right, until I deal with those completely. But... Um, so the law of attraction will keep bringing me situations where people treat me, treat me unlovingly until I deal with them completely. But that doesn't mean that I haven't dealt with some of them. All right? So just be careful about the judgement that oh, I mustn't have dealt with any of it because there's a chance you have. But second thing I'd like to say is that if you have the same repeat, repeating events occurring, then yes, there is a possibility that the cause of emotion is not being addressed. The question you need to ask yourself is, when I feel, am I feeling about the current event? Or am I feeling about a childhood event? If I'm feeling about a childhood event, there's a high likelihood my causal emotion is involved in that event. If I'm feeling about the current event, then it's only an effect emotion. Does that make sense? Yeah, just. I find if I can't remember a childhood event, then I just ask myself, is the emotions I'm feeling childlike, or are they adult-like? Exactly. So if you have an adult-like feeling in your experience of this emotion, then it's highly likely you're not getting at the cause. If you're having a childlike experience in the experience of the emotion, you may be getting at the cause. Not, com not necessarily, but you may be. When I say maybe, a lot of times there are blockages to the cause at the child level, and you do need to deal with the blockages to the cause. So block my blockages to the underlying emotion that I had there, I wasn't feeling loved. And I didn't recognise that it was because I didn't want to be loved. Does that make sense? That was the big thing that I couldn't recognise. So I kept getting events where I where it wasn't being loved crying about not being loved, right, but not recognising the truth yet that actually I didn't want to be loved because everyone who ever loved me finished up dying or being tortured to death because of it. you follow me? So um, what I'm saying, I suppose, is that oftentimes our, you know, we might be crying about a childhood event that we think is causal, but actually the cause is actually just underneath that. And the key is to pray about that. If you know that it's happening regularly, just pray about it more and allow your law of attraction to show you that it might be something deeper again. And I've had a lot of those kind of flip side emotions where I wanted to be loved and I was wondering why I wasn't loved and nobody was loving me. 
thinking, and I was thinking that it's because I was feeling unlovable, but actually it's not because of that. It's because I felt like I don't want to be loved, because if I'm loved, the person who loves me, there's a deep feeling of responsibility for their life, was the actual cause. Does that make sense? You may find that flip side type of emotion inside of you quite often. 